guys, what's up, and welcome to the 25th or 26th episode of the Yugo Grimo, that is right. So as you can tell, damage limitation lineup. We just beat Arsenal in the second round, second leg of the uh, Champions of the Europa League uh, quarter. We beat Arsenal in the second leg of the Europa League semifinals. So this is a bit of a damage limitation lineup, as you can, get, as you can guess. Uh, take a look at this lineup. Uh, our players are just really tired, so giving a bunch of them a rest. Um, depending how results go, I am seriously considering doing a triple header here, potentially. So I'd basically just be playing uh, three games in the episode just to finish off the series. If we do win the match versus Manchester United, I mean versus West Brom and things go our way, I could easily um, go along and even simulate the game so that we don't have to, but um, I'm assuming we're going to need to have uh, the final game. It's probably going to go down the wire, uh, but let's get into it. We're getting into the potentially first of three games in the episode. That is right. So we are playing against West Bromwich Albion. So it's going to be a good challenge in this game. As we are on top of the league at the moment, so the pressure is indeed on us. We have to continue getting good results, or we could risk having the league title slip from our grasp. So yeah, I'd have to say a must win versus West Brom. I mean, I just can't say it enough. There's no other option than winning. So they're playing a 4-2-3-1. At least it's not Chelsea's uh. 5-2-3. That's better than nothing, but um, yeah, it's definitely going to be a bit of a challenge. And as you know, uh, it is a game where we could potentially do in the title. So it's going to be a little interesting as, um, of course, we have a bit of a week in the lineup. So we got to get the business done, though. We got to get the business done or it can be problematic. Really. And there we go. It's halftime. Uh, we're going to have to make a couple of changes here. So I'm thinking it's going to be a double change up top, so I'm going to have to bring in um, Masanda and Jesus, it's just absolutely necessary, and then Almiron is going to uh, come off for Ake, Ducori going to switch in there, Almiron for him. It's a risky move, but we need to get our best players on the field, and uh, yeah, we I feel like we'll be uh, punished if we don't. Let's get into this, come on, we have 45 minutes left, we need to get a goal, it's, it's meant to. It's going to be Musanda here. Okay, it's Musanda. It's Jesus. It's Jesus here. It's Jesus. It's Musanda. Oh, oh, what is the goalkeeper doing? Oh, it's a huge error. And we have gotten the first. It is Gabriel uh, Fabregas who pops up with the goal. Unbelievable. I thought Masada had messed up the chance, but Sesk has done it. Sesk has done it. It's unbelievable. It is absolutely unbelievable. So yeah, we are... Flying high, 80 minutes in, what a relief, Seth Fabregas, thank you. Well, it says 79, but it's 80. Okay, it's a mistake here, especially why, especially why, especially why, it's Masanda. Oh, it's Masanda, it's two, and we have clinched it, it's a two. Nothing victory over West Brom, 82 minutes in. Masanda with a stunning finish. And within the space of three minutes, we have doubled our lead. Charlie Masanda with a simply stupendous finish. And Ben Foster, do not know what he's smoking, but more than happy for him to do that as we have gotten two goals through his pretty much horrific goalkeeping. That is right. Thank you. Goodness, we have managed to achieve some luck. Charlie Masanda, thank you, my man. And there we go, that's it. It's a 2-0 victory 
over West Brom. It's huge for the series. We were definitely deserving of that victory, but it is an absolute relief to achieve it. And oh my goodness, we've won the Premier League title! And Manchester United crumble at the last moments! Oh, that's unbelievable! That is actually unbelievable! Okay, let's make sure I don't look like an idiot here. And... Yup! We have won it! I know what you're thinking. There's only one game left. Even what happens if we lose and they win? We have a goal difference of 13. That's it. That is the Premier League title. And there we go! We have won the Premier League title! That is right! Unbelievable! And with a threadbare Chelsea squad, we have managed to take them from predicted relegation candidates to Premier League winners. What an incredible season. This has probably been my favorite series on the channel yet. And what a great moment. I thought no doubt that Thibaut Courtois should be the captain. He saved us on so many occasions and he is very much deserving of the honor. I made sure a couple people would be on the bench but every single player who was in there made a huge difference. Cesc Fabregas, all the players were key to this success. So now it's time Thibaut to lift the Premier League Trophy! Thibaut Courtois! Oh yes, we have done it! We have managed to achieve an incredible success this season. Very, very pleased. And, uh, yeah. What a season it has been so far. But the season is not over, as we do have the match versus... Leon. So, getting into the final game of the whole entire series, we are playing against Olympique Lyonnais. So, we're playing a 4-3-3 false 9. It's got us this far. Only unfortunate change is Andreas Christensen will be out of the final with a red card that he got against the second leg of Arsenal. So, um, yeah, it's just time to get into this. There's just no doubt. It's a huge match, and it will really, I think, change the fate of the series and uh, how it's going to be remembered in the long term. The series finale begins. It is indeed the final game of this whole entire series. And uh, this is huge. This is absolutely huge. Lyon have a very, very good team. They're going to be an extremely hard team to break down. Uh, they're no doubt equal to us and potentially even a bit better. So it'll be much of a challenge. Anthony Lopez, someone in goal who I'm not looking forward to facing. And obviously Alexandre Lacazette from Olympique Lyonnais, who currently transferred to Arsenal. So, yeah, what a team this is. Very good challenge. Let's take a look at the two squads. So, Lyon, so they have Depay, Lacazette, Maxime Cornet is coming in. Um, so they're playing a 4 3 3, uh, but with a center attacking mid. So maybe that deep line defensive midfielder will help. And uh, we have our usual lineup. It's a full strength, though, as it is the tournament finale. So all the rules get thrown out of the window. Best team possible for us. Got us here, which is playing smart, which I am not doing. Okay, it's Dufouré. Okay, great win of the ball there. It's in. Jesus! Oh, it's a goal! It's a goal! It's Jesus! 11 minutes in! It's Gabriel Jesus! We start off with a stunning finish from the Brazilian, Brazilian, Brazilian! Gabriel Jesus! What a pass from Traore! What a pass! And then Jesus with a stunning finish! Absolutely caressed onto the post and into the back of the net! Huge, huge moment, huge goal, and absolute relief as we take a 1-0 lead early into the final. Such good luck for us. We are putting real pun pressure on Olympic Lyonnais. Oh, 
Zukure! What a save by Lopez! Hey, Tommy Roan. It's headed in! Oh, it's two! It's two, and I believe that is Kurt Zuma! We are going gangbusters on Olympic Lyonnais! And 19 minutes in, we are two to the good! What a cross into the far post, and Kurt Zuma heads it in! We are dominating Leon early on. Unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Wow. Full strength lineup showing what we can do. That's Sask. Oh, come on. This is getting ridiculous with all these chances. Finish is three, there we go, Marcus Alonso puts it away, and it's a brilliant finish from a brilliant player from the Spaniard. Marcos Alonso, what a finish, what a lad. A brilliant corner routine though, shocking marking from Lyonne, and we're up three. We are up three nothing in the final. This is like Manchester United vs Ajax Europa League final, except for the fact that we play attractive football. <laughs> Manchester United. That is it! We are Europa League winners! A 3-0 victory! An unbelievable performance from the whole entire team. Absolutely world class from the lads. And it is indeed time to celebrate. This is the best team I've assembled from one season of this crew mode. And I must admit, it's a world tougher than the Wonder Wheel one. As in this one, you really have to see what you can get, adjust to the team, and find the right chemistry between everybody. So yeah, enough about that monologue. It is time to lift the Premier League trophy. And Thibaut Courtois, he has done it. It's time to lift the Premier L the Europa League! Thibaut Courtois lifts the Europa League trophy! Huge moment for everybody involved in the series! Thibaut Courtois lifts it! Huge, 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 I don't know, Sam, I'm speechless. We've actually won the double! At one point, we were like 16 points behind Manchester United, and we come back to win the title. A huge moment, and yeah, this is it. This is it for the whole entire series. But yeah, um, I'd love if you guys could let me know what you guys want to see more of in the series. But regardless, as you can see, taking a look at the route we took to get there, we beat Anderlecht 4-1 on aggregate, we beat Porto 6-4 on aggregate, we beat Arsenal 3-1 on aggregate in the semi-finals, and we beat Olympic Lyonnais 3-0 in the final, getting a clean sheet. Unbelievable there. So, yeah, as I was saying before, uh, any suggestions for the series? Any uh, updates you'd like to see? Are there any new features in FIFA 18 that I, you guys think could uh, be put into the series to add to the value of it? But, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the league table. And as you know, you know it, we are league champions, only conceding 16 goals in 38 games, scoring 55 goals, 80 points. Take a look at all the player stats to end off this series. So it'll be going a little quick, but um, yeah, it's uh, pretty darn good. So Thibaut Courtois played every single game all season, undeniably a beast. Kurt Zuma, two goals, one assist, a man in the heart of the defense. Alonzo came in January, but couldn't do anything without him. Ducore was great. Almiron, such a key pickup. Seth Fabregas, six goals, four assists. That was incredible for FIFA. Jesus was just born to be wild. 13 goals, six assists during the season, but he was a stunner for us when he came in from January. Charlie Mosada, 13 goals, nine assists. Great performance from him. Triore was a beast. Kenny meh. Shrievers meh. Gonzalez, surprisingly good goal scorer actually. 10 goals in uh, 45 games. Ake was key. 
early on. Had a bit less of a role as he went on, but still very important. Patrick Shuai, 21 goals, 12 assists. The surprising MVP of the series, I'd have to say, alongside Thibaut Courtois. Noble, meh. Sterling, meh. And there's a lot of youngsters which I never sh shipped off because they actually did play a good role in the early parts of the season, but Andreas Christensen was an absolutely stunning player. Uh, kind of surprised he only got into 16 matches in all honesty. But at the same time, uh, an absolute beast for us. Shalaba played a key role for at least part of the season. And uh, yeah, that's it. That is actually it. We only have f three players who are on loan now, which is uh, pretty showing of our use of the loan system and actually giving players a chance. Yeah. That's it. I don't know how to end off, but that's the end of the series. So the for the final time of this whole entire Yu-Gi-Oh! Career Mode series, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, leave a like and feel free to drop a sub. I will be having tons of content for FIFA 18. And... Yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace!